Okay, having done some analysis, then uh, the attacker turns to attacking. They are going to try and gain access to your system. And whereas last time I concentrated on uh, what you can do to uh, prevent them from gaining the information for analysis and successful attack, um, in, in here, let's emphasize uh, what can you do to detect what they are doing, that to detect that an attack is pl taking place um, to uh, put the shoe on the other foot and uh, perhaps identify uh, the attacker from uh, information from the way that they are uh, attempting to perpetrate an intrusion on your system. So um, they're going to want to gain access. And uh, they're, you know, probably going to do it on a remote basis. They are going to uh, attempt to make connection with your system using uh, direct login uh, attempts to reach the host. And how are they going to do that? Well, you know, it could be um, that you are connected to the Internet, as everybody is these days. Um, and so... Uh, an awful lot of people then uh, say, well, we're not going to uh, worry too much about modems because nobody uses any modems anymore. Are you sure? Do you, you know, do you know for absolutely certain sure that you don't have any? Um, I can uh, remember one uh, company that... Uh, uh, Ha, it told me that he had uh, done a, a test, uh, just, you know, calling all the numbers in, in their uh, telephone line range, and, and were uh, astonished by the number of times it was answered by a modem. And so, you know, are there uh, modems which were connected, which aren't used anymore, but are still there, and therefore... Uh, they are a point of access. Now, the interesting thing was, this company having, uh, I mean, at the same time that they have determined this, uh, they were trying to sell us on certain systems, and uh, one of the features that they, they were suggesting to us was attaching uh, modems to these systems so that we could do remote maintenance and administration from a central location uh, because of the uh, situation we were putting these uh, systems and devices in. So that was uh, you know, kind, of, kind of interesting there, uh, determining that they already had a problem and, and trying to push us uh, towards the same uh, problem. However, uh, so, you know, what uh, what types of um, access are people going to get? What means of access? Um, you know, like I say, you connect to the net. You are living next door to every hacker on the planet. Um, uh, so uh, they're going to look for the um, uh, the access that's available through those types of things. Um, what unprotected systems can they get into and from the unprotected systems do those unprotected systems because they're not terribly important have connections themselves to more sensitive systems uh, now that's really more sort of the, the next stage uh, not just uh, gaining access but escalating your privileges but anyways um, so uh, there is going to be um, uh, password guessing going on, uh, you know, dictionary attacks, um, uh, and uh, password guessing. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you do it by running through a whole bunch of different passwords. Uh, sometimes you do it by taking a password, like one of the really common ones, like love, sex, and secret, and. Uh, running through a whole bunch of accounts. Um, 
an interesting uh, factor there. An awful lot of people who have uh, detection or protection systems which will say, okay, you, you try, you know, three strikes you're out, uh, try to log in uh, three times to the system and then you're locked out of the account for a little while. Um, when they're doing it, trying a fixed password against a range of accounts, those uh, protective systems may not, depending on how they're uh, implemented, uh, address that type of attack. So, uh, you know, you, you do have to be careful um, with the protections you put in place as to, you know, is, is this going to be effective? Um, is it going to work in this situation? Is it going to get work against the attacks that we are likely to see? Um, as well as passwords, of course, there's uh, known security vulnerabilities. Um, there is uh, the you know social engineering, um, piggybacking, hijacking of accounts, spear phishing. Uh, you know, the boss sends a message. Okay, I'm having trouble with my account. I need to use your account. What's your password? Um, how likely is that to be successful? Uh, all kinds of social engineering. Social engineering is, is uh, uh, usually uh, the most effective. I mean, you know, technical... Uh, attacks are are interesting, but if you really uh, you know want to attack somebody, it's it's very often uh, the social engineering attacks that you want. Um, and of course, if you can't gain access, just mess it up for everybody. Uh, do something. Do a denial of service attack. Um, max out the the number of requests. Lock out everybody's uh, accounts because of the uh, protections that are in place.